welcome back my peeps today we're gonna make some cute uh cinnamon rolls in a skillet it's not really like a realistic type it's kind of a little bit whimsical and stuff but we're gonna make some pumpkin spice cinnamon rolls and i got this cute little skillet from dollar tree but you can use whatever ones you have amazon also sells some skillets like this uh, at Dollar Tree, they also have the round ones, so whichever one you find, but I'm going to use this square one. So you're going to need a little bit of clay. This is the clay that I have that I, um, is white clay and I added classic caramel to it to give it like a dough look. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to roll it. You just want to roll it kind of like a long strip. I mean, you make them as big as you want. I'm just trying to make them big enough to fit in that skillet. I don't know if I showed you guys this tool here. It's like a blade. I found this at Dollar Tree in the section where they have the tools and stuff in that in that aisle and i think it's a great deal it's perfect for cutting clay and all that good stuff so i'm gonna roll it out just a tad longer so now i'm gonna start at this end and you're gonna want to make sure that this part you roll it pretty tight because you don't want to have a, a opening here when you roll your uh your I can't even talk your um cinnamon roll. So now what I'ma do, this is my there's tons of ways to make cinnamon roll. This is like the easiest way. Um some people put a uh, roll up roll it flat and then put like a brown piece of clay in the middle and all that stuff. I'm not doing that. I'm just going to do a cute little, like I said, it's whimsical. And uh, it's not really like supposed to look real. But I'm just take it and you smash it down a little bit. Just smash it like that. Not too hard. And you're still going to have that circle part. That, um, what do you call that? Not the circle part. The twirl. It's still going to be there. And then you're going to get you like a brush or something. I got this from the Dollar Tree as well. But before we do that, I got a little piece. I'm going to put a little piece. Like this looks like the pumpkin spice color. I'm going to put a piece. I'm going to roll a piece of this. And I'm going to put it in the center of this cinnamon roll. And I don't know if I can open this bag. I don't know why I always close it. I mean, I know why I close it so tight because I don't want the air to get in it. But dang, I can't even open the thing sometimes <laughs> okay so this color is yellow with a touch of brown to give it that pumpkin spice look okay and so it's yellow with just a touch of brown so i'm gonna put this over here for a minute because i'm gonna roll this out and i think this is Kind of too much. So I'm going to roll it out. I'm going to try to make a long little worm to go in there. Now this thing I found here, I found this at the Dollar Tree. See how nice it helps you roll your log or your worm, your snake, whatever. I found it in craft craft this square aisle and it's actually a stamp block like you use it to put your sticky stamps on there I think this is too much but I'm gonna go with it okay so what I did was I started in the middle and then I kind of went around wherever that twirl is 
when I uh, rolled it up. Right, press it down, and then I took this brush and I'm just gonna like smash it down more, okay? And then I'm gonna smash the edges to give it a little bit of a more textured look. And you can use your texturing tool as well. Especially to get inside those in between the twirls. This is pretty easy to do. And it comes out pretty cute. <clears throat> now you're going to let this air dry for a few minutes because you want it to get like a little bit of a skin on it. Because um, we're going to dry brush it. We're going to dry brush some color on it. And uh, if you try to dry brush it without it getting the skin, it might like distort the shape and stuff like that. And we don't want to do that. I'm just putting away my clay because I don't want it to dry. So while we, that's getting the skin on it, I'm going to show you <clears throat> what we're going to use for the glaze. So, I have a little cup here, and I'm just going to use, I'm going to put this up here for a minute. Um, let's move some of this stuff out the way. Make sure y'all grab one of those cutters for your clay. I think it's a great deal. So, I got some of this clear glue. It's also from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to put a little bit in my cup. You just want to make enough. This is going to be our glaze. You just want to make enough to cover your your um this your pumpkin spice rolls cuz these are not cinnamon rolls, they're pumpkin spice. But if you wanted to, you could add a little bit of brown color on it or whatever. And then this is going to be our secret ingredient. Baby powder, any kind of baby powder. They don't even sell this kind of baby pot. No, let me see. Because, you know, the one with the talcum, just put a little bit. You don't need a lot. But this is what's going to make it, like, a little bit thick. And then I'm going to put, like, one drop of antique white. Because you know that the cinnamon roll, the um, glaze is not, like, well, sometimes it is white, but sometimes it's a little off-white. You just need one drop, just like one drop. I'm serious. You do not need a lot, okay? And then you're just going to mix this up, okay? And you're going to get something like this. You see that? You see that, Glaze? Let, let, let me bring it up here because I know it's hard to see. But look. You get a nice, thick glaze with that, um, the, uh, baby powder. It gives it a nice, thick glaze. Okay? So, now, to this, I added a little tiny bit, or you can add as much as you want, a little tiny bit of... Cinnamon powder, cinnamon, cinnamon powder, yeah. Ground cinnamon, that's what I meant to say. And you just mix it in there. Okay. And you're going to get like this cinnamon glaze. Which is going to be perfect for our pumpkin spice rolls. Okay. So, there goes a little bit of glaze. And you can see, you probably can't see the cinnamon. Can't, you could see the cinnamon. But let me show you how thick this is right quick. Look. You 
see that? It's nice. Okay, so I have some already ready. I just wanted to show you guys this. Okay, so that's going to be your glaze. And I got mine right here. It's already mixed up and everything. So what you're going to do with your, um, the set, it comes with a spatula. So I took the spatula and I just took my icing, my fake glaze, and I put some on the spatula. So like that, when I laid on my skillet, um, it's going to look like it has icing on it because like I removed one. Actually, it'd probably be nice to put one on this. You know what? Uh-oh. I, I ripped the thing up. Ugh. See, look. It came up. Eh, okay, so maybe I'll just do that again. It doesn't really matter. But you know what? Because I already... I already finished. I already did three other ones. See my little pumpkin spice? You see my orange twirl in the middle? So, now I'm thinking that, should we do one where we picking the, up off the, or should I just put it in there? Because, I don't know, how would I do this? Like that. Anyway, you guys can do that if you want. I'm going to put it in there. Um, But, yeah, so I took the, uh, like, remember, this is glue now. Every, this has a little edge on it, so make sure you put the edge facing down. So I just took the uh, the glaze and I basically just, you know, put it on there. Like if some of the glaze comes off on the spatula as you pick it up, you know, just to give it a little extra look. Now you got to let this dry, okay? Make sure you get it all the way up to the edge right here. And you let that dry. But well, before that dries, I did take a little bit of cinnamon with my finger. And I kind of sprinkled it on there lightly. So I can have little cinnamon specks. And now I'm going to let that dry. I'm going to put it all the way over there and let that dry. And now I'm going to dry brush the uh the color classic caramel is the color i'm gonna use that's the color i always use just put a little drop because you don't need a lot let's bring our cinnamon well, i keep calling the cinnamon roll pumpkin spice and now this classic caramel color it might make your cinnamon look a little bit lost in there but that's okay because you can always go back and add some color okay and I'm going to show you what I mean I even painted the bottom now be careful I suggest you let this dry a little bit more longer than what I did just so you won't take away from the shape of the little muffin. Muffin. The little cinnamon roll. Because it will lose its shape. And we don't want it that to happen. Okay, you see how the color kind of got lost in there? The pumpkin spice color I'm talking about. But before we do that... I'm going to add a little darkness to it to give it like that little bit of burnt look. Not burnt, like, you know, baked, like the cooked part. You know, there's always a part on the muffin or the cake or the whatever that's just a little bit darker. And you just go on the edge like that. And you just make it a little bit darker. And you just give it some color. 
And then I took a color that's just a tad darker than that. And it's chocolate sprinkle. And just like a drop. You don't even need a lot. And then I took like a, a smaller brush. And I kind of went... Let's move this paint over here because I need to... Um, and then I kind of gave it some like brown spots. You know, I'm kind of doing a rush job here, but you guys do a better job than me. You always do. I love seeing your pictures when you tag me. Right? So now, like I said, some of the orange might get lost. So I'm going to take a drop of orange. This is, uh, oh shoot, that's a big drop. This is Harvest Orange, and I'm going to take... A, I'm seriously like a tiny drop. I'm gonna get a toothpick, as a matter of fact, because I don't want to mix. I, I, I put a, I put too much paint there. <sighs> and you're just gonna take your toothpick, like just get some brown on there, and then you're just gonna mix that up to get like a brownish, orange, pumpkin spicy color. You don't want it to be too brown or too orange. Okay, so what I did now, I didn't put a lot, even though I made a big batch here. That's because it kind of, um, let me see this brush. So I'm kind of going to take that brush and I'm going to put, I'm just going to dab like orange on there. And then I'm kind of, kind of take it off with the brush. Or you could do it with your hand. Your finger, I mean. Just spread it around just to bring that orange up. Because like I said, it might get lost because, you know, with the dry brushing and all that good stuff. It could happen. But that's the I'm part about crafting. You just figure things out as you go. Okay, so now that kind of brought out a little bit of the orange. But then I'm going to go in there again and I'm going to kind of like get into those areas again and just use my classic caramel. And I'm not really worried about if too much of the orange shows on the side. All right, so now we're ready to put our last, our last muffin. Oh, I keep calling these things muffin. Cinnamon roll in here. Now you're going to have to, you know, adjust, make adjustments, push it down, do whatever. And there you go. Now you got a whole little skillet. Filled with cinnamon rolls. Got a little piece of the clay came off on this side, which is okay. Just fix it up. All right, so there we go. Now we're going to put our drizzle on there. And y'all made a ribbon. I was so proud of myself. Because y'all know I'm horrible with these ribbons. So, basically, I'm going to take my drizzle. So, I'm going to get me another toothpick. Because I don't know how I want to put the drizzle. This is the part that I was really thinking about. How do I want to put the drizzle? Do I just want to go across? Like, you know, like. Or do I want to go in between? Um, cuz 
because I don't want to cover the whole. Look. I kind of want you to see the pumpkin spice part. Let's see. Let's just go like this. Right. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with that. Kind of bring it to the edge so it starts like going on the, down the side of your cinnamon roll. Ah, oh, man. I didn't mean to do that, but... You can smell the cinnamon and the glue. Now if you want to, you can put a little bit of the glaze on the bottom. You know? And then you can take your toothpick and spread it around. And then what I'm going to do before it dries. But let me take my toothpick and kind of like get the, you know, we don't want the drizzle to look perfect in there. So I'm just going to spread some around. And then before that dries, I'm going to get some of the cinnamon powder again. And I'm, oops. I'm just going to drizzle that a little. Get some in my fingers and we just go lightly. Okay, and there goes our pumpkin spice cinnamon rolls. Now, if you don't want to put any drizzle down at the bottom, you don't have to. Okay, so I made a bowl with this orange gingham. And then I put a little pumpkin cabochon on there. And I'm going to put it right here, like that. And then once your skillet dries, you can place your skillet like across it. Like see this, it has this little ledge right here. You can put the skillet like that on there. But I can't do it now because it's still wet. But when it dries, you can lay your skillet on it like that. And there go your pumpkin spice cinnamon rolls. This is going to dry. It's not going to be so dark. <clears throat> excuse me when it dries it looks a little dark now yeah it's gonna be you know the white um the baby powder of course is white but it's not gonna be as like it's gonna have a little bit of just a real little translucent look to it so i mean it's not gonna be as dark as it looks now but that's our cinnamon rolls. Isn't this cute? You can put it on your tear tray and all that good stuff. I love this part <laughs> right here. So guys, that's it for this simple, easy pumpkin spice and everything nice. I don't really care for pumpkin spice, but we already had that conversation, but... I just wanted to do some cinnamon rolls, and this is it. It's pretty easy. 
get you the Dollar Tree pan, you'll be good to go. So guys, until the next tutorial, stay safe, stay healthy, keep crafting, and I will talk to you guys very, very soon. Don't forget to share, like, subscribe, leave me a comment, interact with my tutorial. It helps my channel. It helps me grow, and I appreciate it so much. All right, guys? God bless you. Talk to you soon.